Game Maker, how to limit the number of enemies that are being randomly produced somewhere in your game. A uh, typical one is you have an object that makes enemies for the player to battle, but it just keeps making them and making them and making them, and then there's never any end to it. So let's take a look at how do you stop this guy from making too many of these enemies. Easy little fix here. First of all, you'll see here in my boss, in the step event, I'm just picking a random number. I'm deciding if it's less than six, I end up making another ghost. But what I want to do here is just add a quick check to make sure that there's not too many of these ghosts on the screen. So here's what you can do. One little check here you can do right at the beginning before he starts to make anything is you can ask a question. You can ask if the instance number. Now this is a method that sends us back the number of whatever we give it. Oh, awful type in there. So I call this O oh, ghosts. If the instance number of ghosts is less than 10, how about this? If it's bigger than 10, we exit out of here. Now for those that haven't seen the exit command before, it's a nice one uh, if you use it right. Basically, if the number of ghosts on the screen is bigger than 10, I'm out of here. I don't bother continuing down and doing that code. So it's just the script here is just finished at the exit point. So this isn't a bad one to use. I could have also said if the number of ghosts is less than or equal to 10, then run this code. But I'll just leave the exit here. So with this in mind, we should get no more than uh, 10 ghosts or maybe 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Anyways, you don't get any more produced. That's it. And you have your 11 ghosts. And so that's a nice little quick fix for this. Now, of course, some of you may say to yourself, well, my game gets harder. I want this uh, to take into account that my game gets harder. I want that number not always to be 10. What can I do? Well, I'll give you a quick idea. There's some other videos that talk about how levels get harder. But uh, you can just, this little quick idea is go to here. In my room right now, I have an object called global, which is just keeping all my global variables. If you don't know about those, go watch the video on global variables. But what I'll do here is, is I'll create a global variable. And when the game starts, I'm going to call this global dot ghost max. And you know, I'll set it to, uh, I'll set it to four. Now, when I actually go into my code for the boss making the monsters, I'm going to replace that there with global dot ghost max. Now you and I both know that global ghost max is four. So you may say to yourself, well, why bother typing that out? Why not just leave it four? Well, because now the nice thing is, is you can change this anytime you want. So if the player happens to hit level two, you can make this global ghost max uh, go up to eight. And now you're going to have eight ghosts. Uh, just to simulate that idea, I can do something like this. I can go inside the player. I'll just say, make this like a cheat code. Key press, letter, L for level. And I'll just say every time I hit a new level, I can go global dot ghost max equals global dot ghost max plus an extra four there. Hell, well, it doesn't matter. Make it a five, right? So it's a different number. So now I was at four. I'm going to go up by five to nine. The next time I hit it, it's going to be allowed to make up to 14, et cetera, et cetera. This would be a simple way to do your levels. Another way you could do is you could do some code like this somewhere in your game. You could say something like, you know, if the level of the game is level one, global dot ghost max is four. Else, if the level of the game is two, global dot ghost max equals 10. You know, you could just continue on. Depends how many levels you have, right? If you only have 10 levels, not bad. If you have, you know, 200 levels, you might want to come up with some math equation sort of like this every time they hit a new level so it uh, changes easier for you. Anyways, let's take out that code. <clears throat> uh, 
I'll just leave it in there in the file for you. <clears throat> Let's try this out. Hit the L key. And we should see as our level increases that we get a couple more ghosts. So there's our four, five max. Now I hit L again. And some more ghosts. And hit L again. I get some more ghosts. So every time I hit it, it's up in that max, right? So that's a nice basic way for beginners to control how many bad things can be on the screen. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped you.